Hello everybody, uh, today I'm doing a Scratch, my first Scratch video tutorial. So, sorry if the sound quality isn't great, uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Actually there is, but I don't feel like it. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to go over in a video is uh, platform physics. So what we're doing here is, you know, in like a Mario type platform game, how you're running and jumping and not going through walls and, you know, destroying everything with your extremely bad laggy physics. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make, well I already have these these sprites in. Uh, they have costumes. Um, that's all they have really. They each have one costume. This one has a script to go to front and show and stuff like that. Uh, that's all I've got in here so far. That was just to save time. So. First thing we're going to do is make a variable called x and y val for only the player. So what that does is it, um, why is this one not only, huh. um, so what these are is they record how fast the player is moving up and down, that's the y val, and how fast he's moving side to side, that's the x val. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with him not moving, because, you know, platform physics. Uh, and then we're also going to have him start kind of over here-ish. So next we're going to make our loop where we do our physics, and we're going to put them in their own uh, custom block so that we can do a run without screen refresh. I think I didn't check that. We can do a run without screen refresh uh, just so that things go faster. Uh, you know, you don't want to be like, mur, mur, mur. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the y by the y velocity. That makes enough sense, doesn't it? Right? If he's going down at a speed of negative 12, then move down negative 12 pixels. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if he is in the ground. Uh, you know, after moving, did he go inside the ground? Okay. If he did not, that's what we're first going to look at. Then we're going to go down, right? If he's in the sky, we want him to fall. You know, you don't want him to just float there. That'd be weird. Um, if you're not touching, or if you are, if you're in the ground, if you're touching the terrain, then you want to, first of all, set your y build to zero. Don't keep going down. Uh, that would go badly. Second of all, you want to get back out of the ground, because if you don't, then you're in the ground, and, you know... Uh, so what we're going to do, this part is kind of confusing. We're going to repeat the absolute value of the y velocity. Now if you don't know what absolute value is, basically it's the positive version of the number. So, you know, 12, the absolute value of that is still 12. But negative 3, the absolute value of that is positive 3. So um, the reason we're doing that is because I don't like putting negative values in repeat blocks because then, you know, things get really weird. Uh, don't put negative values in complete box. I think it just doesn't do anything, but you're going to go like that, and you're going to change the y by 1. Oh. First, what you're going to do is only, only... So if you're in the ground still, change the y by 1 to go up one more pixel. And then if you're still in the ground, go up one more. And you keep doing that until you get out of the ground. And the reason we're doing this, repeat, is because um, you just came down at that speed. There's no way you could be further in the ground than how fast you were going. Okay? And then if somehow this doesn't work and you're still in the ground, which would be weird, uh, we would just want to change the y, by the y velocity to basically just undo what we did. Um, I can't imagine when this would actually happen, but if it did, it could cause a lot of lag and be weird. So, that's just kind of a safety precaution. This up here, though, instead of changing the y by 1, we also want to be careful. If you hit a ceiling, we want you to change your y by negative 1. But if you hit a floor, by 1. So, we're going to do this cool trick by Ernie Park, I think that's how you pronounce his name, where you take the y velocity and divide it by the absolute value of itself. He used this in his uh, mushroom equation thing, which is really cool. I, you should probably check it out. But uh, what this does is it's going to give you a positive one or a negative one. 
And if it's a negative number, it gives you negative 1. If it's a positive number, it gives you positive 1. If it's 0, it screws up. <laughs> Don't divide by 0. So, you know, if you have 4, then it'll come out as 1. But if you have a y value of negative 4, negative 4, then it gives you negative 1. So, we're going to multiply that by negative 1. So we're going to go, basically it's going one pixel in the opposite direction, like up or down of how you were going earlier. And we're going to put that before we set our y value. Okay, so now he won't get stuck in the ground. The next thing is that we want to uh, make you able to jump. So if the up arrow key is pressed while you're on the ground, then you want to set the y velocity to 11. And this number right here, just depends, like the higher it is, the higher you'll jump. That's something you can tweak however you want. I like it because it goes just over three blocks up so that you can, you know, jump like this high. Um, Next thing we're going to do is the x. We've pretty much finished the y. We're going to change the x, not by 10, by the x velocity. And if the right arrow key is pressed, then we want to change our x velocity by 1. Start moving right. If the left arrow key is pressed, then you want to go negative 1, which makes enough sense, I think. Um, so we've got that, now you can move left and right. The problem is that you can go through walls, which, you know, platform physics aren't supposed to do that. Uh, yeah. So we want to make it so you can't go through walls. And we're going to use essentially the same trick as we did up here. Uh, we can actually duplicate this and just modify it a little bit. So what we're going to do is, uh, if you're touching the terrain, then we know you're in a wall, not the floor or ceiling, because if you were in the floor or ceiling, we would have gotten you out earlier. So we know that you're in a wall then, and so we're going to repeat the absolute value of the x velocity this time. And we're just going to go in and replace, you know, x's everywhere instead of y's. And we're also going to change the x by all this stuff, we're just switching over to x. Oh, I guess we need to go up here, don't we? So there we go. We've got that. It's doing essentially the same thing. When you get to a wall, get back out of the wall. Seems simple enough. And now there's one major problem with this still. Uh, well, two, actually. First of all, if you run into a wall, you want to stop moving. I think that is pretty clear. Uh, the other thing is that you want to have friction, because otherwise you go like this forever. So we're also going to just set the x velocity to itself times 0 0.85. So that'll set it to be 85% of itself. So you know it'll it'll go down every time because 85% is smaller than 100%. And uh, there you go. You get your platform physics. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm sorry the sound quality was atrocious. Uh, again, I don't have a super good microphone. This is the first video I've done. Uh, hopefully this was still helpful to you. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of uh, how platform physics work. And uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a slightly modified version of this that has extra features and is just generally better that you can use. So. See ya.